What's going on, gang? Bolt Matrix here with a supplemental video review of Bull Rider Megazord versus Rodeo Maru. Now, the first thing you will notice is they are actually very similar. There's not a whole lot different here. There are some minor things here and there that I will admit, but the overall molding is almost the same. There are molding for wheels in the knees. The moldings are incredibly similar. It just, the USA version is smaller with worse paint and no um, lights and sounds are... Sorry. I hate sounds, especially on Rodeo Maru. <sighs> okay, so the robot modes, they, they're they very, very, very similar, as you can see. They both have giant bulls sticking out, and they both have humanoid mecha sticking off their back. The biggest difference has to be the amount of kibble coming off of Rodeo Maru's back and butt, and the paint. There's a lot more paint on Rodeo Maru than there is, than there is on the Megazord. But where it counts... It's fine. They're both pretty similar. The detailing and the molding, as I said, are just about equal. So, actually, good job, Bandai of America. You almost got it perfect. Almost. You're just about there. Before we get into the bull modes, a quick note about the Rider Megazord versus, well, the Japanese version. As you can see, the Japanese version is obviously larger and just has more paint, specifically on the knees and the little area there up by the chest. Otherwise, they are very, very similar, obviously, except for size and lights and sound gimmicks activations. They're fine. The USA version has that stupid thing hanging off his butt. Eh, whatever. Overall, it doesn't really matter. These, these figures are both bad. Now, when you compare the bull modes, however, there is no contest. The Japanese version wins hands down. Everything stays together. It looks better. It's definitely better feeling. And the overall look and the just just better. The only thing that I would say is better on the USA version in this mode is the way they handle the star. In the Japanese version, it looks like a giant butt thruster. In the USA version, it just looks better proportioned. But the Japanese version wins on paint, wins on just overall feel of the figure, and definitely wins in the attaching the little blue dude to the figure. Because he's attached via clips, he is holding on for dear freaking life. Oh, and the Japanese version isn't hollow in the middle. Looking at the double combined mode, we could see that they're actually not that different. And yes, I do realize I am missing the footwell from the dump truck. It broke off. It's somewhere. Overall, the aesthetic of both of these is bad. Both of these combined modes look dumb. But I have to give it to Bandai of America. I, I really have to give them props. They have made what is ostensibly a really stupid giant robot and they've made it somewhat presentable it's not as good as the Japanese version but it's fine as I said in my bull rider review it's stupid yeah it is it's really really stupid but it's fine it's not that different from the Japanese version. Overall, it's it's okay. And, you know, that's a lot more than I was expecting. So, I have to give props to Bandai of America. I think they did okay here. So, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And be sure to follow me over on Twitter. Check me out on Facebook at Bolt Matrix Reviews. As always, guys, I'm Bolt Matrix. And I'll catch you next time.